is Alessio Bernardelli, and I'm a physics teacher in Combran, in Cruscaglio School. And uh, I'm here tonight to show you how broadcasting your pupils' work is a great confidence booster. What I'm using at the moment is not just a webcam. I'm actually broadcasting live from my house. And what I'm using is a live stream, which is uh, an online a streaming website that allows you to create your very own online channel and also you can download Procaster to do interesting things like uh, sending a screencast of uh, your screen and you can also show PowerPoints or anything really that happens on your screen. Also you've got this nice mixture of 2D mix and 3D mix between your face and your screen. But let's go back to the screen and show you what we did with my year 10 in physics last year. I asked them to create some activities that could be used as part of a TV show and then that we would broadcast live uh, from, from the school. Unfortunately the LEA was blocking live stream so we couldn't do it from the school but then I recorded their work and I, I streamed it live from my house which worked better actually because that meant that the kids could look at their own work being uh, broadcast and the parents also were getting involved and engaged in what uh, their children had done. I gave complete choice over the type of activities and the type of software that the children could use in order to create their own activities for the show. The electromagnetic spectrum is the range of all possible frequencies of electromagnetic radiation. Within this, we have X radiation, now more commonly known as X rays. Applications of X rays make use of this short wavelength, resulting in penetrating power, as in the medical X rays of internal tissue, although dense areas such as bone prevent their passage, shown as white areas on X ray photographs. Podcast with Tom, Luke, and Alex. Hello, this is Tom, Luke, and Alex at Crush Livestream. We're here today to focus on the electromagnetic spectrum. We're going to show a range of three different types of light, what they're used for, and what their side effects are. Hello, 